Hey everybody, happy new year. Homemade nut butters are a staple in my kitchen and they're super easy to whip up in a high powered blender. So today I've partnered with Vitamix to show you how to make creamy homemade almond butter in just one minute. Let's get started. All right, so there's two ways you can make almond butter in your Vitamix. You can blend raw almonds with a little oil or you can roast your almonds to help release their natural oils. I usually opt for the latter. So to do that, place four cups of raw almonds on a parchment lined baking tray and pop it in a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. Remove the almonds from the oven and let them cool back to room temperature. Then transfer them to your Vitamix. Place the lid on your blender and remove the cap. Then add the tamper through the top. Turn your Vitamix on high and blend for one minute. I'm setting the timer today so you can see in real time just how quickly the almond butter comes together. As soon as you hit start, your almonds will immediately turn to almond flour. Use the tamper to push down on the almond flour, which helps to push it into the blades. After about 20 seconds, you'll see the bottom start to thicken. Just keep pressing down and you'll have almond butter in about 40 more seconds. And that's it. You now have fresh, homemade almond butter. Of course, if you'd like to skip the roasting step, just place raw almonds in the container with three to four tablespoons of neutral flavored oil. Pour your creamy almond butter into a storage container and then place it in the refrigerator. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss next week's video.